What's going on YouTube? It's King Game 29 here bringing you guys a new deck profile. Before I get to the deck profile, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers and my new subscribers. It means a lot to me that you're sharing my videos, liking, commenting, all that stuff. So thank you very much. I'm almost at 50 subscribers, which means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much. Keep on subscribing, sharing, telling your friends. I want to make this channel big. Be like Cyber Knight, Galactic God, all those guys. So let's get on to the deck profile. It's going to be a Light Sworn, Shadals. This is meant to be a semi-competitive deck, I guess. The new Challenger Sneak Peek Weekend, I played this and went X2 in my tournament. I, I forgot what I lost, so, but I remember in top 8 I lost to Cliff Fort because I let my friend borrow some Cliff Fort cards. And he said if I did, he'd probably win and give me 25% of what he won, which he did. So thanks to him. But I went to match 3, or game 3, against Cliff Fort with this deck. Which was really, really cool to know that this deck can actually compete against Cliff Fort. Because if you drop JD, this just destroys everything. And they're sad because their pendulums are gone. So let's get into the deck profile. 3 JD. Uh, your main board destruction. Mill 3. Or Mill 4, excuse me. And he's just really good. 3000, level 8. Next we have 3 Lila. Lila's amazing now because Vanity's emptiness is a thing. So you want to pop... Pop vanities if that's the only thing on the field, but if they have other back row, pop the other back row first, then do Lila. But this this baits out stupid stuff like Solemn Warning. I don't know why people Solemn Warning her because they're they're scared of her that they're gonna get hit. <laughs> so three Lila, three Lumina. She is your monster born of the deck. She is really really good and opens up the Exceed and Synchro plays of the deck. So, there's three Lumina. Three Shadal Squat Mata. One of the many Foolish Burial cards in the deck. I think we have about six Foolish Burials in the deck, which is insane. So, this is the Foolish Burial for Shadals, I guess you can say. For some draw engine, three Beast. You want to get to your good cards and mill your bad cards. So, Shadal Beast, either tributed or milled, you still draw. So, that's really, really good. And he's 2200, so if you manage to get him out, either Falco or who knows, whatever, if you tribute summon him, he's really good. Two Dragon. If I had any room, I would play more. He's back Row Destruction. I love Back Row Destruction, but two Dragon seems good enough. Two Falco. He's kind of another Monster Reborn, I guess. Helps flip effects for Shadal's Tuner. Able to synchro and he special summons himself. So that's really good. Two, Hedgehog, Ballad Trap Searcher. You need your fusions. You need the uh, search when flipped face up. And you also search when he mills. Uh, monster, Shadal Monster. Next, we have two, Mathematician. Mathematician's your other foolish burial. He's 1500, which is kind of decent. And you also draw a card, so that's really good. Next, we have two Curry Bandit. Curry Bandit is pretty much a needle bug nest, but sort of better because you get to add a milled spell or trap, so that's pretty good. Next, we have two Light Ray Diablos. He's kind of sacrificial lamb, I guess. He's 2800, he's really good. He's a level 7, so you go to go to rank 7 plays, but you want to put him out on the board, make your opponent reveal Speller Traps. They'll probably chain to his effect and try and get rid of him, such as Breakthrough Skill, Solemn Warning, all that jazz. So you want to put him on the board first, and then probably YOLO it and JD. So that's pretty good. Next, we have two Chaos Sorcerer. Chaos Sorcerer is... One of your boss monsters, I guess you could say. He's 2300, banishes monsters that are annoying on your opponent's board. So, that's really good. Two, Eclipse Wyvern. Eclipse Wyvern, banish your JDs. You want to search your JDs as much as possible. You want to mill this card. If you see this in your hand, it's, it's a bad sign. Two Raiden, mill power, obviously. 
nil two at the start, nil two at end phase. It's four total. He can go up to nineteen hundred tuner. Opens up synchro plays. <clears throat> Next we have Minerva. One of I'm getting into one of. Uh, I think you have enough light swords in this deck. I'm not quite sure to actually search light ray Diablos and JD. So go back, watch the video, count and see how many light swords I have. I th I'm pretty sure I can search Diablos. I'm not quite sure about JD. Next we have one Garoth, draw power, 1850. Ryko, you can set this and fake, it's a Shadal, and people might get scared, and then you flip it and it's Ryko, and they, they cry. One Aaron, Aaron's good if people are randomly playing Gear Gear, or anything that's defensive, like Shadals, I guess, like Mirror Match, I guess. One Felice. You want to mill this. This is the new wolf. You don't play a wolf in this deck. This is a tuner. Pop. Mill. It does everything. Next, we have Glow Up Bulb. Glow Up Bulb is great when you mill it with, let's say, Mathematician, Foolish Burial, whatever. Mill it on your own with Light Swarns. You want this in your graveyard. BLS. Another boss monster. Very, very good. 3000 attack. Has a great effect. You should know what BLS does. I'm just gonna try and go a little faster. One honest, honest is your hand trap of the deck. He's really, really good. And then title and blaster. They banish your dragons and slash attributes, I guess. And they're they're pretty big beat sticks and open up the the rank seven plays. Onto the spells three solar recharge, draw power and mill power. You want to get to your good cards, like I said, really, really fast. Next we have. Three, Shadal Fusion. Shadal Fusion is a very good card. Let's you fusion into your two main fusions that are really, really good. Plus, if they have uh, extra deck monster out, it just makes it all worthwhile to mill stuff from deck. One L Shadal Fusion. This is the quick play version of Shadal Fusion, so you just flip this when they're trying to go off and they can't. You put a wind on board and they cry. Next, we have our one Charge of Light Brigade. Charge lets you search. You got a search in this deck. You got a mill. Charge does that for you. Why can't Charge be at three, guys? Charge would be awesome at three. Uh, Allure of Darkness, draw, banish one. Again, the drawing and everything. Foolish Burial to get cards you want in the graveyard, like Swap Mata, maybe like Minerva, just to go through your deck faster. Rigaki, self explanatory. Soul Charge, I haven't been seeing too much of this this format, but Soul Charge is really, really good in this deck because it can save your life if you have a ton of dudes and a lot of life points. So, Soul Charge. Onto the traps. Three, Needle Bug Nest. Needle Bug Nest lets you mill. You want to mill, so this is probably one of the best cards in the deck. And then lastly, we have two Shadal Core. Shadal Core is really good when it's milled, plus if you happen to draw it, it can be a monster. So that's kind of good. So that's all for the main deck. That is 60 cards. Let's get into the extra deck really quick. We got one Winda. She's probably one of the best ones. And one Construct for the fusions. I'm not playing Grista or uh, the other one, Shakanaga. Just because there's like no room in the extra deck. If you guys see room after this in the extra deck, please tell me and I'll add them. But 15 cards is really, really tight for what I'm doing. So I'm playing two of those. Onto the Exceeds, one Alucard, because threes and you want to get rid of back row. Castell to bounce annoying stuff. 101, staple. The Volvo Chain, another Foolish Burial, staple. Excision Knight, gets you out of sticky situations. Big Eye, Drago Sack, and... I'm playing Felgrand because there are situations where you have two JD on board and you do not want to deck yourself out. So Felgrand is your only option to go into. And he's also very, very good. On the Synchros, uh, Armades, obviously very good card, 2300. Michael, Banish Stuff, Mill, another Light Sworn name. Black Rose Dragon, Born Nuke, very, very good. Crimson Blader. Stops, high level monster plays, and last but not least, Leo. 
So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the future.